Hello, families. I hope you all have had a great winter break and are staying safe. It's important to me that each time I communicate with you that I honor what you've done in supporting your student through this pandemic. Each parent who has navigated the challenges of having an elementary, middle, or high school age student deserves all the respect and admiration we have. So thank you again for being your child's teacher, even more so than usual uh, since last March. So we have a number of issues to update you about, and so we'll, uh, we'll get right to it. We made plans to return to school for grades uh, four through 12 in a hybrid model, and we're planning to have all students return to school on Monday, February 1st. But that will only happen if our case rate is within the allowable range uh, based on the Department of Health's uh, uh, guidance. That determination will happen one week prior on January 25th. We will notify all families via Skyward email on Monday evening, uh, that Monday evening, which grade levels will begin hybrid instruction on February 1st. Uh, there are different standards for bringing back grades four through eight than there are for grades nine through 12. That difference may result in bringing back grades four through eight before we're able to bring back high school students. We are moving forward as if uh, we will be meeting both standards, uh, but our date may change based on the case rate on, on that day, on January 25th. I'm sorry I'm unable to provide more certainty about the date of return, but we really don't have another method uh, of making an earlier determination. Part of the planning for bringing students back is to find out from all our families about their intentions for returning to school. Since this change will be occurring at the start of semester two, families will have two options for what their learning will look like. The first is to return to in-person learning in a hybrid model. Students will come to school two days each week and will work remotely for the other three days. That's what's going on currently in grades K through three. The second option is to register for Eagle Sky Academy for fully online learning until the end of the school year. If you choose this option, you may be able to return to in-person school at a later date if space is available. So each family should choose either to come to school in person or enroll in Eagle Sky Academy. Uh, next, we'll talk about bus transportation. Uh, if we're able to bring back more students on February 1st, we will be resuming normal bus routes. These routes will be published on the district website by next Thursday, January 21st. The current schedule on our website is from last school year, so don't look at that one. If you have questions or concerns after seeing the schedule uh, next week, please contact the Transportation Department at 360-482-2323. School meal delivery will also change on February 1st. We are currently uh, using 11 drop-off sites and that will be reduced to nine sites due to many students getting their meals at school beginning on that date. The times and locations for delivery will also be published uh, on Thursday, January 21st. So uh, next topic is school sports. Uh, Rob Ohashi, our district athletic director, is continuing to work with members of our league to put together schedules that will work for different sports. The first sports season will include typical fall sports. Uh, those are football, volleyball, girls soccer, cross country, and boys golf. The start of the fall sports season is currently scheduled for the same day we're gonna bring the kids back, February 1st. Uh, please watch for announcements from Mr. Ohashi for more details in the coming weeks. We currently don't have any information about our ability to offer middle school sports to our students, but be assured we will do all we can to make that happen. I can't emphasize enough the logistical challenges with meeting our health and safety requirements and running our programs. Thank you for your patience and understanding as we work through these issues. We do want to request that parents of middle school students who wish to participate in sports, if we're able to make them happen, uh, to reach out to Mr. Ohashi or the middle school office if you have questions or concerns. In order to ensure your student is ready to participate, please complete paperwork on the final forms website. There's a link on our district website to access final forms and complete them. If high school parents have a question about sports, please contact Mr. Ohashi or Ms. Walseth Burnett at the high school. The high school number is 
321. Mr. Ohashi's extension is 3106, and Ms. Walseth Burnett's extension is 3107. You can also reach Mr. Ohashi on his cell number at 360-470-3942. The last 10 months have been difficult for everyone. Our focus has been to help our community build hope collectively to get through the last stages of this pandemic. We're emphasizing hope because it works both from an emotional and a practical standpoint when faced with adversity. Hope is making a plan and taking steps to make things better. This has been our approach from the beginning and now that we're closer to seeing an end, it's vital we continue to support our students by sharing our plans and sharing your plans as a family and helping our students see the hope of things getting better. I thank you again for being such a caring and giving community. Please reach out to us if you need more information or if you want to find out more about providing academic supports for your student. Remaining focused on hope helps us remember that it's always a great day to be an Eagle. Thank you.